Well, howdy, folks, and welcome back to Ark Adventures on Scorched Earth. We're in Ark Ascended, and um, this is the building we were making, and I'm not, not done yet. This is just a little bit after I stopped recording the last episode, and I'm not going to bore you guys. Trust me, I'm not going to bore you guys with just, just building this episode. I just wanted to show you one thing, and then I'm going to build a lot of this stuff, and I'll come back and just show it to you, and then we'll do something else. But um, I did figure out, it, it took me a while, I'm a little slow, <laughs> to, that there is a cosmetic, not here, um, it's a skin. This, the Frontier Structure skin. And there's other skins too, dynamite skin. You know, we know about the clothing skins already. We've already played with those. But this this one right here is really cool because we can make any material, including this Adobe, look like it's from a Frontier Town. Because, you know, we got we bought the Bob's thingy, uh, whatever that is. And it goes in cosmetics. And basically, what I'm going to do, I want to make this into kind of a bay window area. And look at this. It works. It actually makes it a window just because it was a wall before and it actually makes this, this really cool bay window. I guess, should I make the top that way too? Can I put this on my hotbar? I can. Nice. Okay, that's good. I didn't want to have to go to cosmetics every time. And it remembers the last one you did. That is really cool. That is really cool. And there's other options too. Um, there's gates, doors, signs, uh, picture frames, and then the walls. You can make the walls have this sort of frontier look. And I'm, I think I'm going to go with that for this base. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that that's a thing. And I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to build some stuff off camera. And I'm not going to bore you with it. You saw the basic layout of this place in the last episode. If you haven't, go, go check that out. And I'm just going to fill in all the gaps. And then we'll come back. Well, I'm almost overloaded. But I saw a yellow drop come down. I can't miss looking at that. At least I'll look at it with the scope here. See what's in it. Uh, metal stuff. Ascendant. Iguanodon. Saddle. Nah. I don't really want any of that. I mean, I'll take it later when I can grind resources, but right now I'm busy collecting wood, as you can see. It's coming along. I'm sorry. I said I would come back when I was done, but I wanted to do the uh, drop with you guys. So as you can see, it's actually coming along pretty well. I've got a ramp up here. I was going to turn that into stairs, I think. I had to use some pillars to give it foundation support. I have a front door over here, entrance, a little bit of a porch, and then it slopes up on the outside. I'll show you the inside later, but on the outside it looks pretty nice. I'm not done skinning it yet. And making it all look good. And then I've got a behemoth gate here for big flyers. I figured this will be a big flyer perch. And then this is what I'm trying to finish out here. So anyway, I'll be back. Okay, as promised, here is the grand reveal. This is our new base as it is now from the outside. You'll notice there's some ladders. I wanted to have a way to get up to the roof from any point. So I had to do a little bit of a stairs down to this platform to get that ladder to fit properly. And then ladders up here. And I've got a door there on the side. You haven't noticed. And out here is um, basically a patio. And I thought about converting this to planks. And I might still do it. The problem with the planks is that they don't align right sometimes with foundations and ceilings. So if you mix foundations and ceilings or triangle ceilings in this case... I'm kind of okay with this, I guess. So I can I can live with that. We've got wood out here on our little balcony, but all the other foundations inside I left is adobe, and I'll show you that in a second. I'm going inside. Converted all of this to the frontier wood uh, style, the skin, which is pretty cool. So from the side, you can see I go all the way up here. Like I said, all the foundations, that foundation right there is kind of ugly. I'll have to work on something there. Maybe make it a wall. Put a wall on In fact, I can put a wall on it right now, can't I? Let me see fix this. Make this prettier. I think I can put a wall. I don't have a wall, but we can make a wall. I didn't have to be Adobe. I could have made it anything because I'm trying to skin this. And then we do this. Uh, it doesn't want to do it. Why not? Oh, I'm out of range. Okay. Yeah, you can only go up a, a few. Oh, I think I should be able to do this. Instead of having to get a bird, I can just do this, stand up here, and now I should be able to reach it. There we go. Perfect. Uh, not perfect. You can see there's a little bit of a bleed through of adobe there. I don't know if you can notice it. Yeah, you see the little bleed through of adobe? I don't know. And then there's an adobe foundation right behind it too, so it's not perfect. I'll work on it. But all these other foundations are staying as adobe. I got the ramp up there. I didn't turn it into stairs, this ramp down here. 
left it as a ramp I, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a pain in the butt to have to pick them all and put them back down. <laughs> Second of all, I don't know that the ramp is bad. Is it <clears throat> is a bad look, so. Interestingly enough, those are all walls. I didn't do these walls. We have to fix all these walls too, which I will do. We'll do it after this, after I give you the tour. We'll do it from the inside if we can. So come over here. This is gonna be our kind of a bird roost. We're gonna put it like a wyvern or something in here, which would be pretty cool. And it's also a way in. This is our western doors, saloon doors. Out to the balcony. Little patio thingy. Again, I'm leaving all these foundations as adobe. Mostly because in a lot of cases, I mixed foundations and ceilings. Like right here, if I turn the hood on. That's a ceiling, that's a foundation. I did that to save resources. Only on the outside did I do foundations because I don't need foundations on the middle. <laughs> and when you try to do the, this thing. Watch. There. See? They don't align. And there's no way to fix it. I've tried hitting the, the use key to like flip them like you do replacing structures. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. So, oh well. From this loft, you go down these double sets of stairs into, I think this is going to be the main work area. I just threw the bed there for now. There's a little room here, which I haven't turned into um, western wood, which I will do so. I'm going to put the generator in here, I think, perhaps. That might make sense when we get to a generator. And then we've got all this stuff here. Yeah, I haven't converted all of these, which I need to do. So let's do that real quick. Oops, that was already converted. There we go. Now from the outside, that should look better. And I'll do these as well, these walls here. Okay. Then we go down one more layer. This is where I've got some utility dinos and things, or extra dinos, like Overshot, one of my first, and my two Jerboas. I don't really need all the time. There we go. And my feeding trough as well for those animals. And it just kind of steps down a little bit to another area here. I don't know what I'm going to put in any of these areas. I can put some extra dinos here that I don't want to leave in, in balls, you know, in cryo. And then down here, we've got our entryway, and I don't know what the heck I want to do here either. But we've got our double set of doors. We've got a little bit of a, of a patio here, a little bit of a deck, and then our ramp up. I don't know. I like it. You guys like it? Yeah. All right, let's do something else. Man, look at the sunrise. Look at the sunrise coming through this, this bay window. That's the beams of light coming through. That's pretty cool. I put more windows in, by the way. I put a bank up here. Might as well close this door. Oh, close the door. Put a bank up here on either side. And then on every level, there's at least a door on each side. Or a window on each side, I should say. Like there and here. And then down here. And I put a couple in the front. You see that wolf out there now? Hello, wolf. Yeah. Liking it. Sun coming through in the morning is pretty cool. But at night, it's pretty dark here, so I'm going to have to work on electricity. That's going to have to be one of our next things. So what do we need for that? Let's get a fabricator going. What are we going to need? We're going to have to go get some resources for sure. Um, oh, no, just spark powder for the fabricator. That's not that bad. So we'll make some spark powder, get a fabricator going, and then we'll look at what we need for a generator. All right, spark powder. I got this table with the three mortars and pestles. Ah, Nice. Okay, so if we want to make a generator, it's going to require some metal and some electronics. I think we have enough metal. It's the electronics we need now, which means either I'm going to have to do some drop hunting or go get some silica pearls. Um, drop hunting looks fun, so we're going to do some drop hunting. Uh, and then also get some silica pearls. Okay, after a lot of looks, we finally found a drop with silica pearls. <laughs> I didn't know which color had it. I was checking blues, greens, purples, yellows, reds if they popped up. I hadn't seen any yet, but I gotta clear this place out. There are just so many bad guys here. Holy crap. Maybe I just sit down and let them come to me. Here we go. That works. Alright, well, I've got my bird on passive. I think that one was mate boosted for sure. Something poisoned me. What poisoned me? Alright, my bird's on passive, so I'm going to bail and risk it. There. Woo! He's on passive, so it wouldn't flee. Didn't want to have to chase it down. 
I'll put it back on neutral. But I got a ton of stuff, guys. I have been grabbing all sorts of drops. Oh, I got a treasure map. Oh, I got to show you those treasure maps. Those are so cool. But I got the silica pearls. Uh, let's throw all the perishables over here for our trip back. Um, that's not a lot of sil silica pearls. So we're going to have to go get some more, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do a few more drops. Okay, I'm tired of going looking for more drops with pearls, so I'm going to try to get some pearls. Now, all the resource maps for Survival Ascended Scorched Earth say that there are pearls here. I have found pearls in the main river. I've never found them here. But they say there's pearls here. So, Arnie, uh, I'm going to have to take everything off of you and ball you up because I don't want you getting attacked while I'm doing this looking here. But I need to search for pearls. Those are not pearls. What? Are they? No, it's dirt. Or rock. So are there pearls here? They're not invisible in the daylight. They're just harder to see in the daylight. That's not them. That's dirt. Again. They're just harder to see. But they look like traditional little pearl nodes. Silica pearl nodes. So, hmm. I wonder if I'll find any. Okay, I've gone all the way around underwater and reaching just grabbing at things on abo above ground. I haven't found any, so if you guys know where they are in the green, let me know. There's nobody else on the server, um, so it's not like they've been taken. I just don't know where they are. I don't know where they uh, where they spawn. I'm gonna go back to the river, I guess, and look for some in the the main river channel because I know they're there. I've gotten them there before. Boy, doesn't this place look kind of cool coming back? I like it. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, I wanted to drop off all this junk before I go hunt, hunt for more uh, silica pearls. And also see how many electronics I can actually make with what I have. So, out of curiosity. Ooh, just the silica pearls that I picked up. I guess I can throw that in there too. Uh, there we go. How many electronics can I make? Because I need three per. So theoretically, I can make 13. Which I think is all I need, technically, for the generator. I only need 10. So maybe I just... Maybe I just do it. Go ahead and start this up. Pull all this gas out because I want it for something else. Um, electronics. I want to make 10 of them. I'm going to specifically say 10. Pretty sure it's 10. Let me look at the uh, generator again. Yeah, 10. I should be able to make the generator no problem. And then I have some gas for it. And then can I make any... Because it's kind of dark. I want to make at least one lamp. That requires two electronics as well. I think I can make those. So yeah, we'll make all the electronics. Why not? Craft the other three as well. That'll give me one more for a lamp. So let's go ahead and say generator. Craft. And then lamp. Craft. Alright, we got our generator. And we've got our lamp. I'm just leave that running for a second. I'm going to put the lamp down. I need to unload this stuff so I can get to my inventory better. Um, <clears throat> put the lamp just right here. Right there is pretty good. And let's put the generator in here where I planned on putting it all along. We're not snapping, which is fine. I'm going to go partially into the stone, but hopefully not so much that it's going to hurt anything. Just a tiny corner of it the rest of this gas in here and we have our fuel consumption real low on the server so that's go look away and then look back one day one day worth of gas okay cool now this thing should be powered turn it off turn it on I can do it at will it doesn't need up any gas this light should be powered there we go we should have some light in here in the pitch dark of night for now we have to get more electronics so we are going to have to get more silica pearls and stuff eventually eventually I told you that we would talk about this treasure map. This is only a primitive one, but it's still worth looking at. And the thing we need to find is the new shovel, which I don't know if you can make here. No, you make it on the smithy. So if I go over here and I say shovel, you see the new shovel there. It requires two cementing paste. And of course, I put all my cementing paste over here. Why is my game all framey right now? I don't know. Put a couple cementing paste on the smithy and make our shovel. Yeah, my game is super framey right now. Sorry about that, guys. Don't really know why. Maybe it's all the glass over there. I don't know. Maybe all the window. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably this mirror. Yeah, no longer. it's no longer framey. That mirror was trying to, in real time, show me my reflection. So, 
um, we will say no to the mirror. We're going to go ahead and put a shovel in slot zero there, and we're going to find this item. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm making boxes full of stuff that I'm eventually going to try to grind. So that's what that is. So let's take our bird. We come on up here, and first thing we do is we take this map and we use it. And when we use it, it tells us in the HUD that there is a treasure chest, cache, treasure chest, treasure cache, which contains a treasure chest, 474 meters in that direction. So I'm going to get on the bird, and I'm going to try to remember basically what that direction is. And I'm going to try to go uh, roughly 474 meters, and we're going to use the map again. Okay, so we'll land here. We'll use the map one more time. And it tells me that I went past it, I guess. It's 300. Wow. Okay, I, I guess 400 meters isn't what I thought it was. <laughs> but it looks like it's right down here. I, I thought I had to go further for that, but I guess not. But it looks like it's right down in this area. We're going to have to kill some things, apparently. Okay. All right, let's use it. And it says the cache is right here. So we just equip our shovel. As soon as we do, it turns green and it's gold glowy. Whack it. And we get a treasure chest, which is just a drop. It's just a fancy way of doing drops now. They're just hidden and you have to get a map to find them. That's all. And that's kind of cool because why am I getting torpor? Uh, something bit me. Oh, I was hit by the uh, thorny dragon. Duh. Or at least the bird was. Um, the good thing about that is I guess on a really busy server, right, where you have drops come down, everybody can see the drops, and there's competition for the drops. But with the maps, you can get those maps, and you know you alone know where the thing is if you follow the map. So I think that's probably what that's all about. The other thing I wanted to do is place this oil pump, which I got. And I'm going to have to find a place with some oil. I think maybe up here. I'm not sure in this part of the map where the oil is, but let's look for an oil vein. Okay, I've located a couple of oil veins. My, my base is 1,600 over there, but they're over here. And you can see in the top left where they are. And there are some bad things here, but it's going to be a problem to get rid of them when I need to come and get the oil. So let's go ahead and just place that. Let that generate some oil, and I'll have a place to... Actually, I should probably mark this on the map, huh? We'll mark this on the map. We'll put a little marker and say... Oil. Oil. Here be oil. We'll do a resource icon. Uh, we'll use the hand for that. And we'll make it black. So, there. Oil. Excellent. The last thing I really need to deal with for this base is water. And I don't know if there's a water vein nearby, but I prefer a river anyway. Looks like the best source of water, the closest, is going to be over here. This river down here, right there. So I'm going to have to use a water intake and then the pipeless water system of using water reservoirs. I've got a whole bunch, not now here, but a whole bunch of middle ones I had made up from the other base I showed you before. And we're going to have to run that the long way up to our base. But that's something for another episode, guys. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.